guys, it's Tay Marie. Welcome back to my channel for another DIY video. Today, we will be walking through how to install glue down luxury vinyl planks. In this video, we will go over all the tools you will need, the basic prep, and the installation of the floor. So, let's get started. Let's start by going over all the tools you will need. You will need a hammer, a speed square, a utility knife, a tape measure, a flathead screwdriver, a pencil or a marker, and lastly, a roller. Some of these might not be needed for your specific situation, but for most, this should be all you need. Okay, let's jump right into that prep so we can get that floor down. So before we can get to the flooring, there are a couple things we need to do first. One of them is check our door jams. We have a scrap piece of the new flooring here. You need to be able to slide your new flooring right underneath your door jam. If you can't do that, you're gonna end up with these little gaps here and here, and you just won't have a nice, clean, professional look to your floor. I promise, guys, it is worth doing this. So luckily for us, all of our door jams were kind of overcut by the previous owner, so we don't have to do this. But if you guys can't fit your flooring underneath, you're going to need to get a multi-tool with an oscillating attachment to be able to chisel away a little gap here so you can side your new floor under. So the next thing you're going to need to do is remove any trim. So you want to just get right above the nail. So we have the nail here. And you're just going to pop this in a little bit, wiggle. Okay, then we're going to go over to our next nail. So it looks like there's one here. Just keep working your way down the trim. Like I said, find where your nails are and try to go right above them. And if you want to reuse your trim, just make sure you don't rush this. So just like that. So we're going to go around the whole room and we're just going to remove all the trim. So you're going to also want to remove these transition flat bars if you guys have them. So a quick way to do that, very similar to the trim, just get where the nails are. Then you're gonna come from your other side, which will already be lifted up a little bit, and that's when you can really start popping those nails out. This keeps them in good shape, just in case you wanna reuse them when your new pores in. <laughs> now, all that's left is to tape off anything you don't want to get glue on. Here, we're just taping off the very bottom of our baseboard heaters. Then you want to carefully scan your floor for any bumps and lumps that need leveling. If you're applying the new floor straight to your subfloor, make sure there aren't any nails or screws sticking up because these will show through the new floor with time. So either hammer or screw those in deeper or remove them if needed. Now, all you have to do is clean the floor thoroughly, make sure that it is dust and debris free. And that folks is it for our prep. So we're moving on to the installation. Now that our area is prepped and the floor is level and clean, we get to start the fun stuff. But there's just one more thing we have to do before we can put that glue down. And that is to create some reference lines. We are using a chalk line for this and I'm about to tell you why this is super important. So you just saw us put a chalk line down and you can see right here that I just reinforced that chalk line with some permanent marker. That way we can see it through the adhesive in case it gets a little hard to see the chalk line. You can see that we have two of them. We actually have these perfectly measured so that seven planks will fit between them. Seven is not some magical number, that's just what we end up going with. These are six inch planks. Most of them are six inches. So you'll just line it up all in one and you'll keep going over and that will just make sure that we stay straight throughout the whole room. It's important to do some type of line. You never wanna just start going off your wall because walls are almost never straight. So it might look beautiful when you start, but then when you're halfway through the floor, you'll see that they're all crooked. 
and then it just throws off the whole setup of the floor. So definitely do chalk lines. So we have our Henry 647, that beautiful color. And the great thing about this product is you don't even need to trowel it, you just roll it with a paint roller. Like I just said, this adhesive is our absolute favorite due to how easy it is to apply with a roller. We also love how it is pigmented, so you can make sure you hit every spot. If your adhesive recommends using a trowel, just be sure to get the correct size and shape trowel for your specific product. All that information should be listed right on the back of the bucket. Since this Henry 647 adhesive requires such a thin rolled on coat, this product gets you so far compared to some others, up to 400 square feet per gallon to be exact. I will list the products we use down below just in case you guys wanna check them out. Our dinosaur scale floor is now a purple dinosaur. <laughs> And please don't glue yourself into a corner. Think ahead, make sure you plan a starting and a finished location. But once the adhesive is down, you just need to let it set up before you can start laying your planks. What this means is you need to let it essentially dry a little bit. This can take anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours, depending on the product and the environment. As the glue dries, it will turn more translucent and it will become very, very sticky. Once you can touch the glue without it coming off onto your finger, you're ready to start laying the floor. While you are waiting for the glue to set up, open several boxes of your new flooring and separate the planks into piles based on their design. This will make it easier to rotate what planks you grab when you're laying the floor and prevent laying two planks of the same design too close together. Quickly inspect your boards before you put them down just to make sure that there's no scratches or anything from the shipping process. So you just wanna do that with each and every board before you put it down because they're kind of a pain to peel up once they're stuck down. So the first plank is going down. So we have those lines we drew. Instead of going and putting the second plank here, I'm actually going to put it up against this one. That way, we're working in a row of two planks and that's just gonna help us stay straight. I know it can be hard to not make a pattern, but try really hard not to make a pattern as you go about laying your boards. You want them to be spaced randomly and it just looks so much better and it's actually easier to make it random. So just go that route. So we have to make our first cut. So the only two things you're gonna need is utility knife and a speed square. So for this board, we only have to take about an inch off. So you're gonna go pattern side up. You have this nice and snug. You see that line there? And you're just gonna bend it. That easy. If we did this right, when I put this plank down, it should land pretty much on top of these further out guidelines that we made. Look at that. Beautiful. So that tells us that we are heading in the right direction and that we have maintained the straightness we started with. So I just cut this piece for around the door jam. And we didn't have to cut any crazy designs out since we can slide the board right underneath. So we just have a simple square here. And it just fits like a glove. And you have no gapping and it looks nice and professional. So it doesn't get better than that. I'm gonna show you a quick trick on how to cut your planks without taking a single measurement. This is the plank we're putting in, in this spot here. You don't have to push that hard either. Do a quick scrape across, make sure you don't go over and cut the next board. Snap. Now we're gonna take the side that we cut. That's the side that's gonna go against 
the wall because we always want the factory cut next to the factory cut. And that is how you do the planks without measuring. It's like a glove every time. So you're gonna to wanna to roll the floor. They recommend a 75 to 100 pound roller, but we just picked this one up for like $20 on Amazon because the one at Home Depot was like $50. The only con to this is you gotta be on your knees and you gotta put your weight into it. But it's better than buying a super expensive one or renting one for an arm and a leg. So you're gonna start off by going with the pattern, so long wise, with the grain, I guess you could say. And then once you're finished that, you're gonna hit it going across the green. You can really push into it. You're not gonna hurt the floor. A lot of these glues are pressure sensitive. So what that means is the bonding happens at this point. So it's really important to make sure you hit all the spots. And now let's put it all back together. And voila, that's how you install glue down luxury vinyl planks. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you want to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button. Till next time, guys. Bye.